hi everybody, it's Faith from Fire Center. I hope everyone is well. Throwing down cards today. I wonder who's gonna be next. Gemini, you're up. Hmm. This reading will be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of October. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will. Do whatever you choose to do with the message. Give me the cards if you choose to do anything at all. It is your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay too. You can check your Moon, Rising, or Venus sign readings and see if you find something that might resonate a little bit better. Just please keep in mind time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. You might play it from the perspective of a cross watcher. Come on in, dear cross watchers. You guys are always welcome here. And just a reminder, do not take with you what does not belong to you. If it does not resonate, walk away from it. Let it go. It's not your story. It's not your story. Okay. Gemini, why are you here? Two of Wands. Some of... Yeah, that's, that's the two. Yeah. Some of you... <laughs> I had to take a second look. Some of you may be finally letting go of that wand of the past and moving forward, at least picking a path that you're going to go down. That's awesome. I think a lot of you have been at crossroads for a while. Hmm. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? Nine of Cups. You can see them as an emotionally fulfilled person, or they fulfill you emotionally. One of the two. It's happiness. Something about this card. It's nine cups on a sand castle. What happens when one one real good wave comes? Down go those cups. Just throwing that out there. How do you feel? What do you think about the person you're dealing with? Queen of Wands reversed. Mmm. Y'all might be losing passion for it. Hmm. What do you want from them? Death. No, that doesn't mean you want them to die. I mean, it's not what it's supposed to mean. It doesn't talk about physical death. It talks about spiritual change. Chubby caterpillars becoming butterflies. Hmm. Throw a clarifier on that in a minute. How do they feel about you, the star in the reverse? Is something they haven't healed from yet, or they feel there's something you haven't healed from yet? Picking a path at the crossroads, change, losing passion. Huh. Huh. Okay. What, what, what do they think of you? Queen of Cups reversed. There's the mirror.
taking all emotions out of the equation. So you lost passion, they lost feeling. One wave away. Hmm. What do they want from you? Page of Cups. Gemini, what? The cute little messages. The knowing you still care. That's the 10th cup. Hmm. I am perplexed, friends. What happened? What's the obstacle? Four of Cups reversed. Yeah, there's that there's that cup again. Somebody keeps ignoring the damn cup. Someone is ignoring the cup. Someone's ready to finally make a decision and trudge down a path and let go of the wand of the past. But the other person is still looking down at three cups that are empty and not seeing the full cup that is being handed to them, not seeing the tenth cup. What's the potential resolution before I get clarifiers? Three of Wands waiting it out. It's going to be waited out day here at Fire Sign Tarot. Wait it out. That ship's coming. That ship may have been delayed by a storm or two, but it's coming. Meanwhile, we're losing the feels and we're losing passion, but that ship's coming. Universe, Source, and Spirit, can I get some clarity on the cards in the table for Gemini, please? October 2020. I gotta stop for a second. Because just looking at this... So let me get this straight. Somebody's waiting on their 10th cup. Living in the moment, they're happy, their ten cups are full and stable on a sandcastle. And those waters are choppy. Those cups can go down at any second. Gemini, that's on your side. So either you're living in the moment or you feel like they're living in the moment. Are you waiting for ten cups to go crashing down? Is, is, is that is that the thing here? 
losing passion for the situation. But with this death card, okay, with the death card, I'm feeling like you want the change. You want the evolution and the connection. But it's like you're waiting for them. It's like you're waiting for them to catch up. And you don't know how much longer you want to wait. Meanwhile, on this side, they're healing from something. They haven't healed from it yet. That, that, that connection between what happens here, I'm going to put this in the upright for a second. What happens here and what happens here, it's broken. The vessels broke down on the side of the highway. They haven't healed from it yet. But they're losing feelings. They're... Maybe they can't feel. Maybe they're afraid to feel. Maybe they think you're afraid to feel. I don't like all this being vice versa. Why can't I just... <laughs> Why can't I just give readings to a sign? Because I don't know... Whose side this is playing out from? I guess that's for you guys to figure out. Long story short, the person on the other side of this either wants a cup, wants the tenth cup, or wants to give you the tenth cup. But the problem is, I guess we're recapping here, the freaking problem is you keep ignoring the damn cup. Because you haven't healed. You're still looking down at three empty cups. And the cards say wait. Let's get some clarity. Magician. Got the cup, the wand, the blade, and the pentacle. Ready to manifest whatever's coming on that path. You're ready to make it happen. Either you or them. Somebody. And you have the ability, you have the tools. That being said, watch what comes out of your mouth or pops into your head for the next, I don't know, month. And you can either manifest greatness or you can manifest chaos. Just breathe positive thoughts and positive vibes only right now. Dear Gemini friends, positive thoughts, positive vibes only. I want to know more about this Nine of Cups. This is going to be a long one. Tell me more about this Nine of Cups. I'm not taking 20 cards. One card. I'm not taking 20. You don't need to tell me that much. One card. Thanks. Little fortune. This is karmic. Oh my, that's stunning. One more cup on that sandcastle. It's all going to come to an end. I think you're afraid to take the cup. The tens are endings and, and new beginnings. They're endings and new beginnings. It doesn't all just end. It cycles up into something new. You're afraid of the 10th cup. 
That's a stunning realization. Why is the Queen of Wands reversed here? Eight of Swords reversed. I'm trying to put it out of your head. You're not acting on it. I'm trying not to surround your thoughts in it. I'm trying not to let it cage you. Just losing passion for it. Not moving forward with it. Three of Swords, Four of Wands. This connection broke your heart. It broke your heart. You still feel the bond. You know. A lot of wands here, by the way. You feel the connection. It is deep. You know. It breaks your heart. You're not moving forward with it. You're trying to put it out of your head and not think about it. You're trying not to let it consume you. But you know. Wow, Gemini. Wow. Whew. Why is death here? I'm almost afraid to ask. But why is death here? Not taking 20 cards. You guys want to talk? Do you guys want to talk? The lovers in the five of swords. You want change to come. You want them to evolve with you. You feel that connection so deeply. You want to put an end to confrontation. That tenth cup terrifies you, but you want it so bad. You feel the connection with this person. Man, why is the star reversed here? Let's go over to the other person's energy for a second. Nine of swords reversed. Bat poop bonkers. Not well rested at all. Haven't healed, haven't rested. Obsessive behavior. Wow. One more on that. Oh, hi. Three of Cups. Feel the bond. Feel the connection. They feel the bond with you.
but they know a healing needs to take place. Either they need to heal, or they th know you need to heal. They feel you need to heal. <sighs> wow. Why is the Queen of Cups reversed here? Eight of Pentacles, losing feelings, not wanting to put work into it. Not wanting to work on it. Six of Cups, Upright, Knight of Wands, Reversed, Karma in the Reverse. This is deep, Gemini. This is like a rabbit hole and a half right now. Feel that, feel that connection. You feel it. You both feel it. You both want to do it. I think you're both afraid of that 10th cup. I think you've both been hurt so bad that you're afraid of what's going to happen when that 10th cup gets... You're afraid of what's going to happen when that 10th cup hits the top of that sandcastle. You're afraid it's all going to come crashing down. That's why... I think you both walked away from this. Okay. They feel the connection. They want to commit. They want this to come back around. But they think you don't want to work on it. You've lost passion, therefore they lost feeling. Why is the Page of Cups here? Emperor reversed. <sighs> Allowing oneself to be vulnerable, showing vulnerability. Power reversed. This is so sweet, I think I'm going to cry. They want to build the tower. Whatever, for whoever came crashing down, they want to help rebuild it. They want to see your vulnerable side. Wow. Wow, Gemini. This is going to be a long one. I'm sorry. This is just, it's throwing it at me. It's throwing it at me. It's throwing it at me. Do I even need to clarify that? I'm not going to clarify that Four of Cups. I'm not. I'm not going to clarify the Four of Cups. Because obviously... For whatever reason, whether they're afraid of what's going to happen when the 10th cup hits, or there's just too much going on, somebody doesn't want to put work in it, you're afraid of the 10th cup. It's 
somebody doesn't want to put work into it because, hey, these three cups are empty. That fourth cup's probably empty too. Or things are going a little bit too well and it's all going to come crashing down if I put that tenth cup on top of my sandcastle. Wow, you guys are mirroring each other. Holy crap. All right. Why the three of wands? Why are you telling them to wait? You want to talk? Hi, priestess. There is a connection here. Duh. Kind of why we're here. Kind of why I do this. It's powerful. It's like divine. Like connections like this don't happen often. More than karmic. One more. Ten of Swords. Waiting this out. Because this is a powerful connection. This is the connection of all connections. This is the connection that is the total game changer in a path. But a painful cycle needs to end for one of you and you're not letting it end. I don't know who I'm talking to. If I'm talking to Gemini or the Cross Watcher, you're not letting it end. The sun has to shine again. You have to wait it out. So in other words, eventually, whoever's afraid of the cup's going to take the cup. But you got to wait it out. So I guess it depends on how long you want to wait. <sighs> Outcome. Paid wands. That message. Hey, let's go for a walk. Maybe we'll find a lizard. That lizard's representative of fears, by the way. See the cat? Come on, come on, let's go! Time's wasting! We got a path to go down! And somebody's hanging out back here. I don't know. That's a pretty big lizard. Can I throw one on this, please? Really? You had to hit the floor, didn't you? Seven of Wands. Somebody's going to take control of those inner demons. Those inner thoughts. Those fears. Those monsters in the dark that we can't see. Those fears, like the cop. Lay something to rest. Ah, wait a minute. That's got to be like that. Yes. I pulled it out weird. It was supposed to be like this. Lay something to rest. So the outcome is eventually somebody's going to take on their fear. And go down the path. They're going to follow you. But you got to wait it out. You got to give them their time.
Ten of Wands, Upright, Hierophant, Reversed, until someone is ready to release those burdens. And this is a huge burden release. And this is huge. Love is scary. Love is one of the most painful things that we have to go through on our soul journeys. It sucks. It does. And it can be burdensome, but you don't get the connection until you release burden. You have You have to, or, or you don't get your blessed union. I'm gonna throw one more on, a couple more sets, at least one more set. I feel like you guys need it. Well, it adds up to 10, seven of cups, three of cups. This is a warning. This is a warning. <laughs> I don't know who this is for, but be careful of the cup you choose or mind what's in the cup. Or be careful whose cup you choose. Wow. King of Pentacles in the reverse, Ace of Pentacles in the upright. Some seeds grow slow. Some seeds grow slower than others. <clears throat> and it's nobody's fault when that happens. So don't blame yourself. Don't lose your self-worth because something didn't grow in the time span that you thought it should. Time is fluid. There is no timetable on this stuff. And just because it's not happening at the pace you want it to, doesn't mean it's never gonna happen. Knight of Pentacles, the world. Oh, the power of an olive branch. Don't know who this is for either. Sometimes the advice has absolutely nothing to do with the reading. It's just something that somebody needs. The path to completion is an erase. Enjoy the journey. Okay. Gemini. Wow. I gotta close this out. God bless you. Bless you for sitting here for 35 minutes. Bless whoever is going through this right now. This is like deep soul level crap. Oh... All right, I'm going to bounce. Be blessed. Be good to yourself. Be good to each other. Thank you for stopping by. Let me know what happens. And I'll catch you guys in a couple of weeks. Or a week or so. We'll figure it out. But there will be a Halloween slash Mercury retrograde special. So, until then. Be blessed.